Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Kingdom. So, these are going to be one of those videos again where I go ahead and check out the new cookie that got released and basically just give you my first impressions of them, give you a little bit of an overview, check out some of the quotes, check out how their story and skill works, and then use them in battle to see how they're like. And of course, in this video, we're going to be talking about Peppermint Cookie because I recently got Peppermint Cookie and I really want to see how this little sweet has worked. Now, I will mention that firstly, if you want to leave your, quant oh, your questions and comments in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from com uh, from community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. And what type of walk cycle was that, Peppermint? <laughs> but also, I will be saying I won't be reading comments on this video, mainly just because, you know, I want these videos to solely be based around the cookie themselves instead of just you know kind of like just the, me doing a casual recording just you know just primarily a first impressions video and i don't want anything to get in the way of that so first of all just casually just looking at peppermint if you hold the little plub up then apparently they hold on to the conch shell with like dear life kind of looking a bit worried but hey at least they got the conch shell and boop and they just land safely with it there we go and they, they like carry the conch shell like a baby too honestly have you noticed that like the baby holding something like a baby that's actually very adorable uh, I would have something to make them run on just to see how that works, but I have nothing. Uh, we can check out how they look when they sit down on something. So let's go ahead and put them on a bench near the airport. See how about that? A little cozy. A little cozy right there. Care for the child. Care for the child that is that conch shell. I suppose it would be pretty cozy for you. I mean, it does look kind of spiky, but hey, what are you going to do? Oh, I think if you get off, you play an animation. Yeah. Oh, you play it and little, little balls come out. That's actually pretty neat. I've never noticed that bubble. I mean, I understand it is a sea, like a, it's a seashell, but I didn't know that bubbles would actually come out of it. But anyway, what do you got to say for yourself, little me, little plub? I wonder if they remember me. Who do you mean by they? Because there's a lot of characters you could be implying by mentioning they. Oh, look at that. You're just cuddling next to the conch shell and more bubbles are coming out. Aren't you afraid you're going to get bubble in your ears? I don't know. By the way, your hair is beautiful, by the way. It's, like, nice and smooth and watery. But it's just the lawyer. It's the little sailor look, which I think is adorable. Anyway. All my friends live in the sea. Uh. Oh, maybe they mean they as in, like, Sorbet Shark? And, like, all the friends... I, that, that makes sense. Well, they don't live in the sea, but I think a majority live based around the sea. Like, Sorbet Shark, uh, Pirate Cookie, uh, Captain Ice, uh, Sea Fairy... Probably met Mocha Ray and Lobster. Yeah, they have a lot to do with the sea. Hello, the cream unicorn. Anyway, honestly, yeah, you do have a lot of sea related friends, but that's what happens when you stay next to the shore for an elongated amount of time. Stop your worries and listen to nature. That's like the third cookies who's ever told me to stop worrying and listen to nature. Like, I think the other two being like Carol or Clover Cookie and uh, Pinecone Cookie. Like, maybe just group them all up. I don't know, Herb Cookie throw them in two? I don't know. You don't, don't you look at me like that. You know what I mean. Just listen to nature. I mean, I try and hear nature of the ocean, and all I hear is just... Blub. All my friends live in the sea. I know that. I like to dip my feet in seawater. Well, I would like to help you with that, but I don't think you'd be able to swim. I mean, maybe you'd be capable of swimming. I mean, you don't wear shoes, so obviously you're already prepared to, for swimming. But, like, if I try and dip you in the water, I don't think it's going to work. You know, let's test that, right? Isn't it? Like, we have, we have a little water fountain with, like, a water place, which you might enjoy. Will you swim in this? Can't interact with this building. Big cursor. <laughs> you sit down, you're immediately comfortable next to here. Alright, well, let's put you over here. Then maybe this will be a better spot just to showcase you, especially near the water. Why well, don't you just do a little sweepy? <laughs> you already love this area. Oh, that's, that's beautiful right there. They're admiring it. They're admiring the big ocean spiral. Oh, I should have known. And of course, the sea is over here too, so they can pierce at this area. Oh, that's genius. <laughs> Will you walk by the seashore with me? Well, I mean, you're already walking by. Well, we're close to walking to the so uh, shore, so we're kind of to the closest that we can, but I guess we're doing that right now. Waves visit me every day. Well, now that you're in the Plub Dynasty, you can visit the waves every day by going either next to this big old body of water or this beautiful sea fairy tower over here. It's always welcome and it's always open. I, I think, I think I know what story you're referring to. However, I think you're in the middle of telling me that story in a different timeline. By timeline, I mean a different point in time. I don't know. The waves, the, all my friends know that one. 
goes under the seashells. They know everything. Are you telling me that the seashells are the... They hold the secrets to the universe? Because if that's the case, then how can I never find out who is the person who sold she, she uh, who sold seashells down by the seashore? Because we already know that she sells seashells down by the seashore, but like we don't know who it was. I would like to know who it was, please. The ocean will always be with us. Oh, of course it will. Like our whole entire world is seventy percent water. I'm pretty sure, and our bodies are actually made of seventy percent water. So maybe the inner world was also inside of us the whole time. Man, this just got very deep. Let's uh, let's go into your internal uh, main sc screen quotes. How about that? The sea is always listening. Dude, if the sea had ears, it would probably it, it probably has a lot of it doesn't have much remorse for people drowning because it enjoys a lot of glub 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 glub, glub sounds. This conch shell, <laughs> it lets me talk to my friends. What? Are you telling me the conch shell works like a phone? Or like, is it like some sort of like ocean language translator? Cause like, it lets you, cause I understand you blow it and bubble comes out. Is that referring to uh, Sorbet Shark again? Because one of Sorbet Shark's initial languages, like, especially when walking on land is bubble talk. You know, the O, oh, or like when I'm like, like, oh, that's actually them speaking in bubbles. Is that what's supposed to be? That's kind of confusing. Have you heard the story of the sea? Loved the moon. Oh, I've heard that story so many times. Let me tell you, the internet is crazy for that story. Like, you, you could look that up on the internet. Like, do me advice. Uh, like, the favor, if you just go on the internet and search the term sea moon, you're going to see a lot of results. Though, I'm not sure if you want to go too deep into that. Just go into the tame stuff. Probably too young to see whatever gates of death that opens up. But that's just me. If you close your eyes. Can hear the ocean. Are, are 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 you okay? That's not how that works. How does closing my eyes, something initial for sight, make my ears, something that I need to hear sound, hear the ocean? Well, let, let, let's if I can remember, like if I can edit it to just make it look like we're closing ours. Let's try it together. I'm gonna close my eyes in three, two, one. Mm. I hear that. Hear the sounds of those beautiful oceans, even though you can't see a single thing at all. Man, I really wish I could experience it, but unfortunately that's not the case. And bam, my eyes are open back up now. And guess what? Nothing has changed. But, I don't know, maybe you have some secret that I don't know about. Have you heard yep. The, have you yep. Heard the, mm, listening to the ocean stories is truly wonderful. I'm truly curious as if, like, as... I don't know how to say this, but like... Do you think the ocean is its own language and you just... Because I know you listen to the ocean all the time, but I feel like you've listened to it enough to the point where it's its own language. Every single different wave is like a different syllable and a different type of speech. It doesn't make me concerned. I'm just more enthralled. The sea makes every moment a memory. Oh, well, let me tell you. Sometimes those memories can be good and sometimes those memories can be bad. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's still a memory, so I guess it really doesn't matter, but... Eh, yeah, whatever. So, I think I'm going to read upon your story and then read a common question. That, well, we're eight minutes in, so I think I'll just read it right now. Which, generally, what is your opinion on Peppermint Cookie? Because, personally, I think ever since Kingdom came out, I think they've kind of... They've kind of... They've, they've gotten a bit higher in, like, some of my personal favorites. Like, they're not, like, top ten, I would say. But I feel like maybe it's just because of the soft-spoken voice that they have. I think they've gotten a lot more adorable. And, in fact... I personally think peppermint cookie is actually pretty underrated. Like you think of all like the ocean, like all the ocean cookies who are related to like the sea and whatnot. Everyone thinks like sorbet shark. Everyone thinks probably cat and nice. You know, sea fairy. Uh, probably uh, pirate cookie. But I swear, I feel like peppermint just kind of gets scooted under the rug. But I don't know. I think it would be interesting to hear what all of you have to think about them. Uh, you know, how you think about the club. Because I feel like they deserve a little bit more attention. So hopefully at some point, maybe they can get a magic candy. I mean, they do an oven break, but, like, maybe if there's another big Ocean Sea update, maybe they'll get one. I don't know. Not right now, though, because they're just currently new, so we just have to stick with what we have, and that's the little sweetie. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's no costumes. If you want Soul Stones, you just get it from the Gotcha, or the First Greetings Peppermint Cookie from the shop, and Peppermint Cookie Guaranteed Epic Volume 2, which is just package and package. Okay, so there is a story for this little fella saying, Mint leaves for Peppermint Cookie were gathered from a town near the clear sea. This cookie likes to spend time at the shore, staring dreamingly, or dreamily at the horizon, or playing the Shell Ocarina. 
An old friend, the peppermint whale often appears to the sound for company. Peppermint cookie treasures the simple but unchanging things, just like the waves that come and go. May the cookie's smile remain unchanging as well. I'm pretty sure this story is just a straight up copy and paste from, you know, Oven Break to Kingdom. It's not like uh, Shining Glitters where it was a bit copy and pasted, but they added more detail with the Kingdom stuff. No, this is just straight up copy and pasted because it's... The, this update doesn't even really involve Peppermint Cookie. It focuses more on White Pearl Cookie, if anything. Which, aka, is Black Pearl Cookie, but you know what I mean. But, yeah, I wish they at least added something like, Ooh, it seems like they have a story to tell you. Would you care to listen? Or something like that, I don't know. But their skill is known as Freshness of the Sea. Peppermint Cookie blows the conch shell to summon the Peppermint Whale. The refreshing sound of the conch shell heals the team, increasing their damage resistance and debuff resist. The Peppermint Whale creates a wave dealing water type damage to enemies in front of it, and also heals the allies for an amount equal to a portion of the damage dealt. Fresh water brought by the whale covers the team in an HP shield. Peppermint Cookie will briefly become a resistant to interrupting effects while using the skill. Okay, so there's a support at the rear, which is pretty good. They can heal, they can apply a shield, and they also have damage resist and debuff resist. It kind of seems simple, but effective, if I do say so myself. But anyway, let's go ahead and feed you some of the XP jellies, because I know you're pretty hungry after seeing all that ocean. I can feel new powers surging through. Alright, let's hope that those powers come to life, and let's hope that you don't end up like White Pearl Cookie. I'm not going to spoil anything, I'm just saying that's all I'm going to say. Here you go. I can feel new powers. We, all, we already heard that one. Conch sounds louder now. Are you telling me these XP jellies made your hearing more clear? As clear as the ocean? Oh my gosh, that makes so much more sense now, I think. Oh, stories I've never heard of are surfacing. Those what I've never heard of are surfacing? Can you say that again, please? <laughs> Listen to the waves. I mean, I'm, I'm hearing glittering noises from you eating, but like that's about it. Like the refreshing soda ocean. Refreshing soda. That sounds delicious, but it sounds like it can give you so many cavities, which I probably have 90 million of. But anyway, here's just 30 of them. Just to get you at a decent level. About 4,000. That's pretty decent. Here you go. It smells like the refreshing soda ocean. Nope, sounds about right. I'm pretty sure you would love to swim in that. That wouldn't make sense, though. Anyway, level 30. Let's give you more healing based on attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it gives a heals based on a. Uh, damage given i'm pretty sure and now you're at twenty-one thousand. so i feel like you can still because you're just a support you're not a healer so you can still do some damaging i'm pretty sure at least uh but I don't know, i'm very curious to see how you work so what we're going to do is that we're going to go into world exploration we're going to uh don't ask why i'm here i was just getting some soul stones uh we're going over to the story mode back in stage one and we're gonna go over to uh land of one six because this is the level where i usually train everything uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap out Shining Glitter for Peppermint. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot I can promote you. Uh, let's go ahead and... I can prom Oh, maybe I've gotten enough Soul Stones, I guess, somehow. I didn't even notice. Uh, Peppermint should be somewhere in the downer range, only just because, you know, they're more of a support than an attacker. There you are. The waves are raging. Well, that sounds like a good threat to all the enemies ahead of us. The waves are raging. I know. The crushing wave, that sounds terrifying. That's like the one time I went to the, the Rage Lake and I almost drowned. If you don't know what that is, it's just like some amusement park ride where it's a big pool, but it likes to hit you with tsunamis. It's fun. Feel the crushing waves. Yep. The waves are raging. Is it only two? My friends will help me. Well, right now you're going at this by yourself, but I'm sure that you can do it by yourself. I'm pretty sure... The ocean crushing all of these enemies is probably more than enough to uh, stop all of them from attacking you. I'm just being 100% honest. But let's go ahead and test you out. I think I'm going to do this at a 1.5. Yeah, 1.2. That's good. Okay. Okay. So you do just kind of casually heal. Don't do anything here. But I guess it's time for me to use the skill. Let's go ahead. Boop. Okay. The whale just gets summoned. And now you're buffed up with damage down and debuff resistant. So now you're taking less damage. It does take a little bit of time to heal, but I feel like having cooldown is pretty recommended if you want to try to apply as much damage and also healing and, uh, you know, having uh, debuff resistance and also a shield. And the shield only lasts for so long, I'm pretty sure. It quickly does go away. I wish it did last longer, but hey, parkour time. It's so soft. Just, wah. Yeah. Wah. Yeah. 
It's just so sweet. Anyway, here's a giant whale. It, it just, the whale just ascends, pops up, and is just like, oh, goodbye, friend. Yeah, like, that's going to do anything to me. Yeah, good job. I'm just going to pop out bubbles from these conch shells. And, uh, and by these, I mean this singular conch shell. I'm just going to chillax right here. It's fine. And, uh, oh, look at that, a whale. Meow. <laughs> In fact, yeah, it causes like a miniature tsunami, or just a water spray from the world, uh, the whale's uh, blowhole. That's cool. Flubbing peppermint is nuzzling the conch shell. I guarantee you that conch shell is their best friend, and no one can prove it otherwise. That is just so adorable. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I kind of showed off what Peppermint Cookie Friend can do. And personally, from my experience, I do think they're pretty good. I feel like they're not as difficult to use, in my opinion. Because basically, all it is is just, you use the skill. It summons a whale. It does damage. But it applies debuff resistance and also causes you damage to... Uh, you, you can take more damage. And also, it heals all the cookies, depending on how much damage that you do. So, it is. it would be pretty good to get Peppermint Cookie from good levels. But also applies a shield. So... Honestly, it does make for a good support in my personal opinion, but then again, I'm not sure if that'll have much usage. Like, I'm pretty sure in player versus everything, like normal main exploration game mode, it does have its wonders, but I feel like in plumbing arena and stuff like that, it might be a bit situational, but I just say for straight up, like, you know, healing, the shield, damage resistance, and also uh, debuff resistance with, you know, just also causing damage in general. It does have its perks, in, to be honest. Maybe there's a Kiki that does better than the plumb. I don't know, but that's really up for you to decide. For me, I'd say this is a solid cookie to use, but I don't know if you really want to go full ham with Peppermint, but hey, if you love Peppermint Cookie, then go ahead, do whatever you want. Just go ahead and go full upgrade, full toppings, and all that stuff. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video right here. If you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my cookie run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also in the description, there's a link to my merchandise, there's a link to my Discord called the Hype Me Sub, and there's a link that leads to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the cookie run YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees.